Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> so we're back again, and we're going to have a little talk today on how to kind of break your Garmin tread uh, that group ride. You know, how to kind of crack it to get around if you've got friends that don't have a tread, how you can actually communicate with them without them having it. You know, because let's face it, guys, uh, if you own a tread, you know they're not cheap. Um, they are a really nice GPS for off-roading. Um, I don't really have very many complaints about it. Um, <clears throat> and the the ones I do are probably just user error, you know, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm technologically challenged. Uh, so anyway, um, I went to the, the big meat run in Disney, Oklahoma last weekend. Um, went with some friends. Uh, and what we figured out that, you know, although I've got a Garmin Tread, he doesn't. And it really sucked not being able to communicate with him. I mean, there were 18,000 people there. So you can only imagine how many UTVs, Jeeps, four-wheelers, dirt bikes were in that area. It was packed. You know, we, uh, you just couldn't stop and, and communicate what you wanted to do, things like that. Um, went up, uh, what to call three fingers. Um, it would have been really nice to have got on the radio and say, hey, don't come up here. You know, there's another vehicle in the way and I'm stopped, he's stuck. You know, but it didn't. Next thing you know, we got three vehicles up there and me and Sean are trying to get around him, you know, because he's not going anywhere fast. So it, it just would have been nice. So I came back home, you know, last Sunday and I started investigating what to do. What can I do to communicate with another vehicle or two? Um, they had a rugged radio, uh, semi there you know uh with a big display so <clears throat> i talked to those guys about some options um but as you know they are really expensive i mean they like their products a lot and i wasn't willing to shell out that kind of money and change my whole setup just so i could communicate with somebody else you know so um i came home I had a couple Yulden walkie-talkies, um, but then I found out they were the GMSR radios, where if you know anything about those, for the most part, there are, I think, seven bands on that radio that you do have to have a license for. Um, so I decided that that's not really the way I wanted to go, um, you know, because I really didn't want to have to mess with the FCC um, trying to keep other, other riders off other frequencies, you know, if they're, they're under my license, things like that. So after a lot of investigation, um, I dug into what this Garmin tread runs on, you know, it's, it's got to run on some sort of frequency band in this spectrum. So what I came up with is that it runs on the MIRS system, M-U-R-S. Uh, you do not have to have a license for that. Um, the MIRS is actually five channels uh, in the bandwidth, anywhere from 151 to 154 megahertz. Uh, yeah, well, let me tell you. I'll, I'll show you. Let me turn this thing on and I'll tell you exactly. So, uh, The first channel <clears throat> is operates on 151.820 megahertz. Um, one, zero, one. Well, if I can figure this out. Well, I'm having an issue here, guys. Bear with me. Eight, zero, one, two. 
Okay, now I got it. So the second channel operates on 151.880 megahertz. The third channel operates on 151.940 megahertz. The fourth channel operates on 154.570 megahertz. And the fifth channel operates on 154.600 megahertz. So <clears throat> finding that out, um, the search was on uh, to find uh, a mirrors radio that would broadcast in that, that range. Um, they do have them. There's, there wasn't a lot of them that I found. Um, the cheapest one I found was like $80. Um, I didn't really like the looks of it. And basically that's all you could do with it. You could communicate on the mirrors frequencies, one of those five channels, that was it. Uh, so what I did was I started digging in deeper and found that you can get other radios that are capable of communicating not only on the mirrors frequencies, but a lot of the other frequencies. So you have more possibilities with the radio you buy. So what I ended up doing was I bought this Bofang UV 82 HP. Um, it's a high powered um, version of their UV 82. They've been around from what I can see quite a while. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And with this radio, it was I, right now, it's easy. At the time, it was not easy trying to dial in. Because at first, I just looked at, hey, you got mirror frequencies from 151 to, to 154 megahertz. Uh, there's a lot of frequencies between 154, I mean, and 151. So I sat in here, and I was going frequency by frequency. And after about 45 minutes, I was done. Could not get it. <clears throat> so I was about ready to give up and I was going to get a hold of a couple, you know, ham radio operators in the area to see if maybe they could help me, you know, a little bit more of what I needed to do. Cause I knew you had to be able to hook into that frequency on these treads. You know, it's, it had to be a frequency and just what was it? So, uh, I ended up on the FCC website and I found the mirrors, channels and the exact frequency they broadcast on um then all i had to do was figure out how to program them frequencies into this radio which um you know i found a guy on youtube um it was super simple and now i can communicate on all five channels on my garmin tread to this little handheld radio and this thing was 59 dollars on amazon um bofang bofon whatever they call it um, it is a Chinese radio, you know, it's hard to get around. I, you know, I think that out of all the radios I looked at, um, Midland, uh, and rugged radios, which they are the same company, you know, basically, um, they are the only ones that they say are made in the USA. Everything else is made in China. You know, it's like, we all know it's hard to get away from China, you know, as much as you'd like to. Um, so anyway, I pulled the trigger on this little thing and I think it's going to work great. You know, it's it's got a lot of features. A lot of features I won't use, but they are there if I do want to use them. Um, so I am really excited to get out and try it out. Um, I actually ordered another one uh, yesterday because I figured it would be nice to not only have this radio to give to somebody that was riding with me, now I got the option of giving it to two other people and if I just have one rider with me, I can still have one in the Talon to use as a spotter. So that way I can communicate with the buggy, telling the wife what to do, or I can communicate with another rider to tell them what they need to do. So <clears throat> in a nutshell, that is it. Um, you know, I will try to put a screenshot of the frequencies um, at the end of this video to so you have them but if if not 
All you have to do is look up on the FCC webpage for the MURS, M-U-R-S, and it will give you those five frequencies that I told you earlier. So anyway, guys, in a nutshell, I am very excited to see how this works because now, you know, I don't, I can, I can use my Garmin Tread, you know, I don't have a worthless paperweight, you know, radio that's on the back of this thing, you know, um, it's, it's viable now. So again, I'm, I'm super stoked to, to go out and try this in the real world, you know, and, uh, see if we have good success with it, which I, I, I think we will, you know, I mean, mirrors is capable of communicating for, you know, quite a distance. So I think that we'll be all right. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you in the future, you know, after our first ride with it, you know, how, what we think about it. So, but for now, um, once again, it's the Bofone UV 82 HP. You can buy them on Amazon. And you can even get them in multiple colors. I think they had red, yellow, blue, black, camo. So um, you can get a lot of accessories. You can get, you know, uh, bigger batteries for them. You can get a handheld mic, you know, bigger antennas, you know, all kinds of things. Um, they it says they're computer, computer programmable. I don't exactly know what that entails. Um, you know, I, I, cause like I said, I'm all new to this handheld radio thing so you know the more i get into it the deeper i'll dig and you'll find out some things so anyway guys uh you know it's getting warmer outside um got a lot a lot of rides that I'm, I'm working on you know and now that we found a couple you know actually the guy we went to school with so his classmate him and his wife they said they've got a talent so we're really eager to start riding with them um Still got our friends down in Disney, uh, hoping to get down there some more, start going out and actually spending, you know, the weekend instead of just day, you know, a day here and there. So, uh, yeah, even though gas prices are through the roof, you know, you got to pay to play, I guess. And I'm not going to sit on the sidelines and be bored all summer with this thing sitting in the garage because fuel pack prices are astronomical. I just might not be able to get out and ride as much as I want to, but... I'm planning on riding. So till then, guys, like I've always said, if you got any questions, any complaints, anything, you know, you give me a little something down the comment bar and I'll get back with you. So I, you know, I always do. I always get back with people who write a comment. Um, <clears throat> might not be instantly, but um, I'm definitely pretty, pretty quick and keep up on that. So until then, then guys, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.